Excel are prioritizing getting cries on a comfort champion, something that he is used to playing, and they left Tore and their bot lane a little bit out to dry because Rakan Kalista isn't going to be as strong as the Nautilus Kalista. And I'm a little curious as to how the rest of this early game is now going to play out as we get into game. Dead even now. This game feels like it's going to be a lot about level sixes. The Ash Arrows, but maybe even sooner than that as Odawamne now has to back off prize. Potentially overstaying his welcome here as he is caught in enemy territory, but Lorox is getting his butt kicked. That is a massive wave and he has to flash out. Special as they learn how to play team-oriented League of Legends on the LEC stage. And the timing here is sick from Cable. Right as they take over to level six, he's gonna get the second stack there. Cable now flashing in, he's gonna put the stun under tower and goodbye to Odawamne. First blood for the side of Excel. Cry is an excellent start to this game. Yeah, Big Bear comes rocking out, <laughs> has the uh, first stage of his jungle item complete. Not even going for the chilling smite. <laughs> Doesn't need it. Doesn't Wukong's care. Wukong's got all the setup. TF's got all the setup. Are you going to leave as much as humanly possible? I respect you maybe too much. <laughs> Prize though, getting aggressive once again. Have to see if Odawamne can outplay this, but the double Cyclone here is just too much to deal with. Odawamne has no tools to get away from that one, and oh, cries! Oh, is, I mean, it's just to help him push that wave outside of just continuously leveling wild cards. Okay, here we go, dive with the teleport. They're gonna go in. Special coming down the backside, that's gonna be one kill picked up. They've shut down the tower, that's gonna be nothing left for Dreams. He's gonna get taken out as well, and Lorox just has to walk away empty-handed as XL. They're gonna break this one down too. Such a quick play coming in from XL. Couple quick kills, get the tower as well. They're only gonna give up a few plates in the mid lane. That's a good look. And the Destiny finally really paying off there. The first one obviously used into the top lane before lane assignments become more important. That XL really struggled with closing out. And speaking of struggling, Odawamne is running for his life now. The slows come through. Patrick gonna flash forward onto Odawamne. The barrel set up trying to slow him down a little bit more. One more auto. Patrick, no! Can't quite finish the kill. But if you wanted a clear indication as to how it scales, um, but obviously with Shalka's pieces, like you're playing around arrow and you're probably playing for some more items like Gangplank. <laughs> oh, Lorax is coming in. Not a whole lot is going to happen here, but there goes Tori. He wants to finish that one off himself. The Ignite is ticking, and that's some support. Oh, combat burns down as he gets the OK thumbs up on the this way. This Excel get a little bit frisky and start going a little sideways. Frisky is the right word for what we're about to see come through here. Patrick now needs to get out to safety, but Tori is looking for the disengage. Patrick has not gone down quite yet, but he's going to be caught between the entire team. The flash over the wall of safety. Special has now found an isolated target, and bye-bye to the Ash. No hope for Neon in this one. Spin, spin goes the monkey. Abadage going to run for the hills, but the monkey bear combo is a little bit too much for Abadage. And now XL have priority path into the mid lane. Of course, I'm also sad for Shalka, but for XL to, I think, show this much improved coordination in a week is a good luck. Although, Kedril may want to prove me wrong here. He's going to dash over the wall and a clean pickup to Abadage. Hashtag caster curse. Why'd you do this? He held the bat out. He just wanted to walk. He wasn't going to oh, get no. the opportunity. Oh, no. Wait, right. I've cursed them. I'm so sorry. Okay, can he teleport out. out to safety? Neon, he's going to make it. Whew. Oh, and he's clear. We count that one. Not to get there you go. Okay, round two. Shaka know that this is happening. I assume a little bird's gonna come out. There we go, bird. Robo bird. It is the project skin. They will see the Baron, but uh, thrown a little far. Ooh, Could teleport. Have left it in the pit. Oh, we're Kino. Fries going in. He's just gonna one shot Ash. Neon. Ooh, has to flash into safety. A good flash though. 3k on the Baron. They can maybe get Lorox into the pit and turn this one around. 3k getting lower. Now, of course, there is a Callista. This smite steal should be absolutely impossible. Can he do it? Callista gonna take it. Lorox denied and it's cries right to the back line. Erdogan is in the fight, but it's too little too late. That's a Wukong highway to get Tori right into the back line. And ooh, clean sweep and Shao no fear right off the rift. Abadage holding on for what he can, but Baron for Excel. A fight to boot. The gold card's gonna come in and hey, you can't die. That one in goes Rakan one more time. Uh, I like the fact that you brought up divine intervention. It feels like uh, Shalka are getting a little bit desperate, throwing some desperation arrows, but those are the only options that they have at this point. Backs against the wall. What you got, lads? Engage. One more time. Torre is zooming into the back line, can get his way right back out. TF now going to come in, but they are fighting in a very tenuous area from XL. Would not be possible if they did not have a massive lead, but they make it work anyway. They have not lost a single member, and they've taken down three on to get to safety. But here comes the bear. Nothing left for the poor High Noon Thresh. XL, fantastic game from start to finish. You, That was mad disrespectful special. I respect it. Flashing the Shalka, no fear. Now no Zex, as they are yet to find a win. Early game, very clean from XL. Again, they really need these monster objectives to kind of tell them where they're gonna go on the map. That makes sense. You have brand new solar laners that are fairly new to the LEC and kind of learning how uh, team macro works, especially when you're playing more.